Welcome back everyone, my name is Joel Feld and today I want to look at photos in Big Sur. Let's check it out. Photos, I have to admit, in my opinion, there's not a huge amount of changes in photos with, that happened in Big Sur. However, uh, Big Sur overall, uh, which I'll probably do another video, the interfaces, the changes, the the style of the the icons, the whole overall feel of Big Sur is really different. Uh, the sounds, I just noticed the sounds. Have you thrown stuff in the trash can or moved things in the finder? Crazy. Different? I don't know how I feel about it, to be honest with you, but tell me how you feel. Let me know what you think of Big Sur. Moving on to photos in Big Sur, let's take a quick overview. I'll show you some of the differences uh, or some of the new features. Not a lot, but I'll show you what, what I know. So let's go ahead and go open up photos. Now, the layout is pretty much the same as the previous version of photos if you're using 10.15 Catalina, 10.14. On the left hand side you have your library, you have your memories, you have your people, favorites, all of that stuff. Underneath there you have your category for albums where you have it broken down into the media types where it automatically filters out you know, the videos, the selfies, all of that. Uh, you have your same shared albums which love, love, love shared albums. If you're not using them, use them because they're great. Then below that you also have the regular albums which you personally create yourself. So as far as the organization and the layout, that's pretty much the same. Some of the features that they that they changed are they've added the ability to edit or trim your video clips in here. So if I pull up a video clip, I'll go to videos and I will just go to do 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 do, do oh it's turkey or chicken. I'm not sure what it is. But if I click and edit in the top right, I have the ability now to pretty much all the same tools that you would find with the, the photographs. I can trim down here below, trim it, uh, the front, the back. So, I mean, it's nothing compared to iMovie or Final Cut or any video software, but it does allow you to trim the beginning, trim the end, add some adjustments. You can add filters if you want. And yeah, you can crop the video, rotate it, all of that. So rotate it in out all that so they've added the uh, some more features to work with photo or uh, videos within your within your photos the other enhancements are they revamped the the just the tools a little bit visually they added a vibrance tool uh, underneath the color option which just kind of makes those colors pop a little bit more doesn't really increase the saturation but it does pop out those colors I can press M on the keyboard, press and hold, and see the before and after. As you can see, just boosting up that vibrance a little bit, you know, the purple around her collar pops a little bit more, the red pops a little bit more. Uh, just overall, it has that, that feeling. If you like it, use it. If not, that's cool too. Uh, some of the other features that they added were captions. If I click on the little eye in the top right, I can add a caption, and I can say, congrats. Or, um, I'll actually do graduation day and there so now that caption is going to be associated with that photo if i actually pull up that photo on my iphone here i'll pull it up and i can swipe up and the caption would appear right below that picture you can search based off of captions also is it necessary is it a great feature i'll let you decide i probably honestly not going to take the time to put in captions for all of my photos but not saying that you can't. So that's one of the new features there. And then the other new feature is the filters. They've added an option so that you can actually adjust the level of the filter, the, the intensity, I should say. Overall, they've enhanced also the, the retouch tool. It's just gotten a little bit smarter. The algorithms are a little bit better for you to go in and, and change some of the pictures, take things out. Computers getting smarter, essentially. Uh, another one of the features that they've in, enhanced is the memories. Memories are actually really cool if you haven't used them. Uh, memories will automatically go through and kind of compile some of the photographs either based off location, time period, similar photographs, people, and they just kind of highlight those memories in time. And 
showcase them. And it's really cool if, if on your phone or iPad or even on here, they'll come up. For example, here's one with uh, fluffy friends. So I would imagine if I double click on it, it's gonna have everything in association with pets or dogs or cats or whatever you have. So I can go through here and I can see all of these, these pictures with that memory. If I scroll down even farther, I have, uh, you know, Hudson's birthday, cuter by the day, Christmas day over the years. So it's automatically going to add Christmas all together. It's really cool on this day. It'll show you often, hey, this was taken three years ago on this day, which is really kind of fun to go back and look at. At the show Minneapolis. So this is actually going to go through and show us, you know, different shows that we went to downtown. And it's really, it's, it's really kind of uh, enhanced. I actually enjoy this a lot. Often it'll pop up and I'll send it to my friends and family and they're like, oh, that is so great. What did you do? And I'm like, nothing. It just did it for me. So really, really cool that Photos does that. So overall, that is uh, just a very quick overview. Some of the new things in Big Sur that I found. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you like photos. If you found anything uh, new that uh, I haven't discovered yet, that would be awesome. Throw, throw it in a comment below. But other than that, thank you so much for watching. Hit that subscribe button, tap that little bell, and I'll see you next time.